Hey, everybody. It is the Facebook Live Supercell Part 2 right here at Maddox Games and Comics 103 London Shopping Center in London, Kentucky. From now until 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be selling you all kinds of comics and stuff. Really, whatever stuff you might require. Let us know in the comments, character-wise. If you're looking for toys, if you're looking for pop vinyls, if you're looking for statues, we have 40% off statues tonight. We have a number of things. We've got DC Bombshells, Harley and Joker, Harley by herself, Joker and Harley together, not bombshell related. Uh, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, we've got Sinestro, Elektra, Mary Jane Watson, Lady Deadpool, all kinds of statues. You let me know. I can let you check them out. They are 40% off because we are moving. That's right. Maddox Games and Comics is moving to 205 North Hill Street in downtown London, Kentucky. And there's a few things that, hey, if we can sell it, not take it with us, all the better. And so I've been given permission to give 40% off on the sale for these statues. So we've been putting them up and uh, passing them along. We sold a ton of them yesterday. And we've got some more here today, including some we did not show yesterday. So let me know if you need any statues. Uh, the first sale, we gave away a ton of stuff. We had like five or six giveaways. Uh, we're doing the giveaways every time we hit $125 increments, starting now until 11. If you buy something on this sale, every time we do a giveaway, you are entered to win. The more times you buy stuff, the more times your name is in the spreadsheet to win. And uh, I'd like to do like 10 giveaways. We did yesterday. Might as well do it again today. So the more free stuff, the more things you buy. It's a big cycle of awesomeness, and uh, we're going to keep it going right here on the Facebook Live Supercell. Got stuff out on the board right now, stuff we had out on the board before. I had to go sort some comics for tomorrow. Tomorrow's new comic day. We'll have a new comic sale tomorrow at noon. Um, and then, you know, I need to eat a hamburger. So I had to do all that in 30 minutes. So we're running short on time. We're going to put some more stuff up here, though, in just a sec. I'm going to pop up the phone here and uh, see what we got going. I'm going to share the feed out. You should share it, too. Not because you're going to win something, but because the more eyeballs on here, the more people buying stuff, the quicker we'll do giveaways. Got any Robin from Batman and Robin statues? No, I'm sorry. We do not. Um, I don't know. Kristen, do we have any of the 500-card Pokemon repacks? All right. Kristen's going to check on the Pokemon packs. Sharing this to my timeline. Now we're checking things out. Oh, nope. No repacks. They're already over in the new location. Um, um, actually, yes. Yes, I do. I'm going to grab it right now. Yep, I do have the Robin Bank. This is the Robin Bank. It is from um, Diamond Comic Distributors. There he is. Get that on his back. He's got a Batarang. Looking cool. Looking animated. Uh, oh, and he's from 2016, which means I can give him, sell him on a discount. And he goes really well with... The Joker. This is the Mark Hamill Joker. Very cool. Get the slit in the back for the bank. Same deal on that. I'm going to get a price on these and tell you what they are here in just a second. Package deal. Possibly. Possibly so. Uh, they're going to be at such a discount, though. I can't give too much of a discount beyond what I'm going to be given. Um, let's see. Supposed to be $23 each. All right, that makes them $14 a piece. $14 a piece on these guys, uh, which makes it $28 total for the two of them. 
when originally one of them was $23. So really can't do a discount even more than that by bundling them. But that's a pretty good deal. $28, and you can get both of these guys, or they're $14 a piece. Feel free to claim them. Robin, Joker, Robin and Joker, however you want to do it. 14 bucks a piece on these guys, uh, down from $23 on the sale. Yeah, they're cool, right, Julio? You want them? All right, Deanna. Put uh, Batman 28 in the feed, and we'll get them for you. Uh, yeah, we've got a number of banks. We've got Spider-Gwen, we've got Batman from the Arkham Games, we've got the Fluke Man from X-Files, Doctor Doom, Hal Jordan, Daredevil, Deadpool. Uh, Deanna got the two banks. Detective for four to Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Get the comics moving along. This is another new 52 issue of Detective Comics. This is Detective Comics number 11. And it is also going to be four dollars. All right, the next bank we got comes from the X-Files. It was originally $28. He is $17, $17 for the Fluke Man bank from the X-Files. He's uh, got a slit in his back, his mouth's all open and gross, and... Uh, Pretty awesome. He's from season one of the X Files. Probably the coolest character, I think, like monster character they created on the show was the Fluke Man, and they did that like an episode. I think it was two or three, maybe. Uh, way cooler than the guy who stretched down the chimney. All right, sold in the store. All right, that Batman. For Um, uh, maybe. I'm not sure off the bat. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. This is Spider-Man. This is the Spider-Man bus bank. He's really cool. He does have like a um, gray wash over the red, so that way it brings out the detail in the sculpt. He is a bank. Very cool Spider-Man bank. He was supposed to be $23. That means he's also $14 right now. $14 bucks for Spider-Man. He's ready. $14 for that Spider-Man bank. It would be cool if he was fuzzy. Sadly, he's not. <laughs> Very good. Hey, Kristen, how's it going? What's the other two dollar Batman? Hmm, that's a good question.
Kristen gets the spawn. Oh, that's Superman. Spawn for five and gets the Kristen. Ah, not for two bucks. Hmm. What's the Batman thing for two dollars at? I'm, I'm gonna see what I got. Let's see what I got. I'm going to keep an eye out, but I don't see anything right now. But keep an eye out, though, for something $2 Batman related. This is Haunt, issue number three, from the team of Todd McFarlane, Robert Kirkman, the creator of The Walking Dead, Todd McFarlane, of course, creator of Spawn, Ryan Otley, and Greg Capullo. Ryan Otley, the artist on Invincible, Greg Capullo, the artist on Spawn. They all came together to make Haunt the story of two brothers, one of them a priest, one of them, a secret agent. The secret agent brother gets killed. His uh, ghost goes into the brother, who's a priest, and they become Haunt. This uh, basically superhero made of ectoplasm. Haunt, issue three. Uh, and by superhero, I mean a guy who crams things into people's eye holes, because that's what's happened on the cover. It's Haunt, issue three, for four bucks. Why were you trying to hide from it, us hearing this? Uh, this is the Amazing Spider-Man issue at number seven, guest starring Miss Marvel, Edge of the Spider Verse, and of course there is the British Spider-Man there, four dollars. I don't know. There's, there's some stuff that I don't know. I don't think she was talking about you, Tosh. So it's okay. Put your knife away. Put your knife away. If you disrespect me, I'm from Chicago. I'm I'm from Chirac. <laughs> this is Painkiller Jane and Dark Child. Uh, Dynamic Forces exclusive uh, Painkiller Chain and Dark Shot. Not really, I just aggravate you. Uh, this is the Chromium cover. It's from Event Comics. Joe Casada does the cover on this. It has Certificate of Authenticity. It is number 3,882 of 10,000 for this exclusive Omnichrome edition. It's six bucks. Take down the Amazing Spider Man for five. This is X-Men number 188. Number 188 of the X-Men. Uh, it's from 1984. And there is um, Phoenix just attacking all of the X-Men fully. $6 for X-Men 188. We'll take down the Venom Space Knot for three. Let me know what you guys are looking for. I'd like to get up to those first giveaways pretty quick. We'll find some good stuff to give out tonight. This was Ethan Van Siver's first comic ever. Artist on Green Lantern and... Flash Rebirth, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Cyberfrog, number one from Harris Comics. That's right, Cyberfrog. So. Joanna gets the X-Men for six. Thank you, Joanna. This is Cyberfrog, number one. 
Uh, first spine shattering issue. Which spine shattering? I feel like is that's about the limit you want to go when you read a comic. Shattering your spine. That's about the amount of excitement. Really, you need to handle. Cyber Frog number one. That is five dollars. Star Wars and Amazing Spider Man. All right, Wally. I think we can hook you up on some of that. This is Star Wars, Heir to the Empire, issue number one. There's Grand Admiral Thrawn on the front there with Luke Skywalker. Based on the best-selling novel by Timothy Zahn, it's $6. Star Wars, Heir to the Empire, issue number one from Dark Horse. I'm going to take we're down um, Superman for five. Put up Star Wars, Heir to the Empire for six. Uh, there's a new issue comes out tomorrow, Ryan. New issue of Ash and the Army of Darkness comes out tomorrow. We'll have some right here on the Facebook Live Supercell, including a few variants. Uh, let me see if I have any variants down here for you. I might from the previous issue. No more Ash in the Army of Darkness. Um, no. Um, well, maybe. Um, let me see what we got going on. Um, I'll go look real quick. I'll go look. No, sorry, man. Only issue one and issue six. That's all we have right now. This is the last one of these we have in the store. I didn't think we had any more at all. I found it in the variants box, which I guess is where it belongs. So I clearly can't be like, oh, you guys threw it in the variants box. You guys are the variant. This is the Betty Page issue number one photo black bagged variant. This is the last one we've got here. It is $12. I'm going to remove the Submariner. Number one out there for twelve. Oh, no problem, man. If we get the other ones in, I'll be sure to try to put some more God Country up on the cell. This is two dollars. Web of Spider Man issue ninety eight. Pulled on the Star Trek for four. Put up Web of Spider-Man for two. Betty Page for 12 to Wally. Thank you, Wally. This is extremity issue number one. This is the one that was um, the variant cover for issue one that was in the image blind boxes. Extremity number one exclusive cover for $12.
This is Superman issue 713. Clark Kent abandons Superman. Five dollars. Put on a cyber frog for five. Put a Superman for five. This is Rebirth Flash, issue number 11. Dave Johnson cover there. He's being attacked by Shade. It's $4 for this Flash issue 11. I'm going to take down the Web of Spider-Man for two, put Flash up there for four. This is the Crow from IDW. This is the Crow Karar for $5. Issue number one. It's about a little girl. She's like seven or eight years old. She gets murdered and comes back as the Crow. And a detective has to help her solve the uh, mystery of her death. $5 for the Crow issue number one by James O'Barr. And it actually was written by James O'Barr, the original creator for the Crow. That is $5. Take down the Ninja Turtles for six. This is Teen Titans number 97. It's pre new 52. A Titan is born. That's going to be $2. Teen Titans 97 for two bucks. Pull down the haunt for four. Put up the Teen Titans for two. All right, Andrew. Hey, Shamir, how's it going? This is Red Robin, issue number eight. Red Robin, issue eight for two bucks. We pulled down the amazing Spider-Man for four, put out Red Robin for two. Not bad. Uh, yeah, I put out a few ASM and a, and a Star Wars is up now, I think. Uh, you have to be a little more specific about what you're looking for. Uh, this is Batman Incorporated, issue number one for $4. Batman Inc., number one for four from the new 52. In the eye of a Leviathan, that is four bucks for that. I'm going to take down the Star Wars, heir to the Empire, number one for six. There's Batman.
This is from the New 52. This is the variant cover of Green Lantern Issue 2 from the New 52. Features Sinestro on the front by David Finch. Again, this is the variant cover of Issue 2 from the New 52. Near Mint, Never Red Condition, Green Lantern, number 2 for $7. Paul gets the Batman for four. Thank you, Paul. This is Batman Incorporated issue number three for four dollars. The Return of Matches Malone, which is Bruce Wayne's alter ego. Um, Grant Morrison writing Chris Burnham on art. $4 for that. This is Batman Beyond Unlimited, issue at number 12, Dead or Alive? Yeah, probably dead. That is Lobo. Lobo's going to be coming after Batman Beyond. Uh, inside Batman versus the Joker King, that is $3 for Batman Beyond Unlimited, number 12. I'm going to pull down the, uh, the crow for five. We're putting that out for three. Dice do suck, Shamir, which begs the question, why do such a thing? I was talking to Shamir. <laughs> um, I, I don't know right offhand, Scott. Uh, a lot of our back issues are currently over at the new location, so honestly, I could not tell you. I do not know. Do not know. This is Batman Detective Comics issue 881. Scott Snyder and Jock on this one. It is five bucks, five bucks for this classic run from Detective Comics. Ryan gets Batman Beyond for three. We're going to put up the Detective out there for five. And I have another Batman Beyond Unlimited also for three bucks. That is uh, Terry McGinnis, and he has the Joker. Um, Stuff scratched across his face. It's $3. Batman Beyond Unlimited, issue 13. I'm going to pull down the Teen Titans for two. We're putting on Batman Unlimited for three. Batman Beyond for three to Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. This is a crossover book. This is the DC Marvel All Access. This is issue number two. On the cover, you have Robin and Jubilee from the X-Men. This is part two of four. That is going to be $5. DC Marvel Access starring Jubilee and Robin for five bucks. So Batman Beyond Unlimited, issue 18, Batgirl Beyond. Batgirl Beyond on this one, it is three bucks. Paul got the DC All Access. Thank you, Paul. Beyond for three to Paul. Thank you, Paul. GL for seven to Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. 
Uh, Ryan missed that Batman Beyond. But don't fret, because here is Batman Beyond issue number five for $3. This is Batman Incorporated, issue number two. That is $4. Pull that one down. Uh, Ryan got that one for three. Huh? Uh, Batman Inc. number two. So four dollars. Um I can't think of my cards. Unless you found one that has the twenty sixteen price tag. I doubt they got one. We're gonna check and see if we have any on sale. I don't think we do, but we're gonna look. Ink for four. That goes to Paul. Thanks, Paul. This is Batman Confidential, issue number seven. Before there was a Joker. That's going to be $4. No. Yeah, sorry. No Disney Pops on sale right now. They have to be like from 2016 and below before I can mark them down. This is Green Lantern, issue number three. This is a variant copy of Green Lantern 3 from the New 52. First print, near mint, never read. Seven dollars. Seven dollars for that. Ethan made a side of recover. This is Batman Beyond, issue number six. Batman Beyond Unlimited, number six, for three dollars. And there's the future version of Superman ripping up a robot. Um, all of our Marvel, well, what is it? Um, the only Marvel Legends I have are some from the um, Giant Man and Thanos and Odin Build-A-Figure Waves. So if you need any of those, like Hellcat or Iron Man or Hawkeye, I can hook you up, but that's about it. That's all we got. Ryan got that Batman Beyond for three. Thank you, Ryan. This is the Legion of Superheroes, issue number one from the New 52. It is $4. This is Batman Beyond Unlimited, issue number seven. It is three bucks. World's finest end of days. Three dollars for that. Ryan got the Batman Beyond for three. Thanks, Ryan. This is Booster Gold Battles Alone for the Future of the Justice League. This is Justice League issue at number four from August of 1987. That is six bucks for that. Um, Iron Man. That's it. We should have Iron Man. This is from the New 52. This is G.I. Combat, number one, featuring the war that time forgot, which includes soldiers fighting dinosaurs and the unknown soldier in this as well. It's all $4 for issue one of G.I. Combat. Um, giant Man build a figure. An arm comes with Iron Man. He was asking what Marvel Legends we had, which isn't much. Um, it's kind of left us with this now.
This is Batman Beyond Universe, issue number 11, Justice Lords Beyond, part three. That is $3 for that issue. I'm going to pull down the Red Robin for two, put out Batman Beyond Universe, number 11, for $3. I just happened to pull a long box out. I had some decent isn't Marvel out earlier. People weren't buying. I got to buy it up. I keep putting it out. Beyond for three to Ryan. See, <laughs> that automatically means that another Batman Beyond's coming up on the board. There we go. See, Joanna for seven to Joanna. Thank you. This is Batman Beyond Universe issue number twelve, the Fall of the Justice League. That's three dollars. Mortal Kombat 4. That's uh that that's GI Combat with soldiers and dinosaurs. GI Combat for 4. It would be cool if it was Mortal Kombat for 4. Oh. Where'd you find that? It's weird. I mean, I'll take it. That's weird. Oh, gotcha. So, so you do want GI Combat for four? <laughs> I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. All right. GI Combat for four. No, sorry, Scott. No more issues with Rick and Morty. Ryan gets back. This is Robotech, the new generation, issue number 12. That is $5. $5 for that. This is Batman Beyond Universe, issue 13, Mark of the Phantasm, part one. There's Phantasm from the classic Batman Mask of the Phantasm animated movie. Batman Beyond Universe, number 13, for $3. This is Green Lantern, issue number four, from the New 52. Uh, this is a variant cover of this issue, and uh, it's marked 10 bucks. I'm marked at $7. Green Lantern from the New 52, issue number four, for seven. This is GI Combat, issue number two, for $4. Featuring the unknown soldier... And the war that time forgot rages on. All right here. For four dollars. GI Combat number two for four bucks. I'm taking down the Justice League for six. We put up GI Combat for four. Uh not anymore. We sold out of them, Brian. Your mom bought them all. <laughs> oh.
Well, let's throw some more books. All right, we'll be back and board this thing. Everybody's want some Marvel. I'm about to put some Marvel out here for a pretty good price. This is the Incredible Hulk, issue 168. Issue 168. Be on for three. Love you, Ryan. Incredible Hulk, 168, 20 cent. I'm just kidding with you, Brian. Uh, you hurt Hulk with rays. You let Hulk go or else. Brainless brute, if I drop you, you're finished. Either way, you don't stand a chance. Against herpes. Or harpy. It says harpy. It's uh, issue 168 of Hulk. It's $15. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't, Justin. I don't, man. Um, I mean, as far as I know, it's an ongoing. So until they're tired of it, so I don't know, man. With Marvel, it's tough to say. It's really tough to say. This is Dial H number one from the New Fifty Two. Uh, this comic's pretty interesting. It's not necessarily a straight superhero book. Basically, this guy has a phone that he calls. He becomes a different superhero, has different superpowers every time he calls the phone, basically dialing H on the phone. He becomes a hero. So it's an alien device that, to our head, would be more like a phone, but it's really just, I don't know, some type of metamorphosis device. Dial H, number one, $5. What's really cool is it does have a cover by Brian Boland. He has all the covers uh, who did the art on The Watchmen. Dial H, number one for five. Take down the Superman for five, put out Dial H for five. <laughs> that won't stop me. I've already thought of four things to say. <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'd be pretty disappointed in you, Brian. All that wealth wasted on hookers and blow rather than learning how to be a ninja. Two paths, Brian. Two paths. You went down the wrong one. This is Batman Beyond Universe, issue number five. Echoes from the past. That's Raphael Albuquerque cover. Terry McGinnis, he's all sliced up and bleeding on the front of this. Three bucks. I'm going to take down the GI Combat for four. We're going to put up Batman Beyond for three. Oh, yeah, guys. Anytime you want to say McKaylee's name, you can just put Kiki in the feed. It's the exact same thing. They're spelled and pronounced differently, but they mean the exact same thing. You can owe all that to Rob, I think. I think Rob was the genesis of that. Right? You should have let Rob accept that because it's not a good. <laughs> Never mind, it's Tosh. Tosh gets villain. <laughs> Condition of Hulk. Oh, this 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 Hulk is a very fine plus condition. Uh, there's just two little white marks right there. Otherwise, this thing looks great. No bent corners, no anything. Colors are extremely bright. It's only 15 bucks. Basically, we got a deal on some early Hulk. I've been selling them through them, and uh, we we got a deal. So there's no real reason to mark them up super high. That goes for as high as 32. Um, and it's, I kind of ran it mid run at 15.
Welcome 15 to Mario. Thank you, Mario. This is Wonder Woman issue 188. 188 of a DC Wonder Woman. We're going to sell this for $5. $5 for Wonder Woman 188. Joanna gets the one almost for five. Thank you, Joanna. This is Hawkman, issue number two. Issue number two of Hawkman. It is only three dollars. Three dollars for Hawkman number two. How close are we to a giveaway? Remotely? So it is time for one? Yeah. All right, it is giveaway time. Giveaway time. What are we giving away? Let me see. Let me see. Looks like we're giving away Secret Avengers Reverie. It's volume one of the Secret Avengers, uh, which is the team of uh, Nick Fury, Coulson, um, Maria Hill, Black Widow, and Hawkeye on this one anyway, and the Iron Patriot. We're giving away the Secret Avengers graphic novel completely free. All right. So what's my new uh, what's my new beginning number for this one? Uh, this thing's trying to do me, baby. One fifty-two through one seventy-eight. All right. Who is gonna win a Secret Avengers graphic novel? Number one hundred and seventy-two. One seventy-two. Ryan, Ryan Felden, you have won a Secret Avengers graphic novel. Congratulations, Ryan, on your win during this sale. To get in on the giveaways on this sale, all you got to do is buy something. Every time you buy something, uh, your name goes on the invoice. Every time it's on the spreadsheet, that's another chance to win. We're doing giveaways every single time we hit $125 increments. And we already actually ended the second one because we missed this one by a little bit. So we're already on our way to the second one. Might as well do another giveaway in like a minute, right? So let's just buy some more stuff. Free Secret Avengers for Ryan. All right. I'm going to show some stuff off to you guys who may have missed it on the first sell. Uh, we have been selling some uh, statues for 40% off because we're moving our store. And honestly, I don't want to pack these up and take them with us. It's a lot of work. Uh, this is Sinestro, villains of the DC Universe. It's from Series 2, designed by Gary Frank. There's the artwork of uh, that he drew up for the statue. That's what the final product looks like. It looks fantastic. It was normally $70. It is now $42 for the Sinestro bust. I have a number of other statues available as well for 40% off. I've got the prices on them. Let me know what you like, and uh, we'll put them up here. Actually, I'll go through and show them real quick. And if you guys want to see something up close, something that uh, catches your eye, let me know. Another thing that is 40% off is this Joker, this Play Arts Kai Joker. He was $100. He comes with an extra head, extra hands, gun, and knife. He is now only $60 for the Play Arts Kai Joker from 
Arkham Origins. Also for 60, this is Harley Quinn. This was $100. This is the Jim Lee styled Cover Girls Harley Quinn figure or statue. It's a full body statue. She has her hammer. She's actually standing on the base of her hammer. Um, she's got a base there. She's got her gun with the cork in it, with the string, in her classic jester attire. This Harley statue from DC Collectibles is only 60 bucks. This is Mary Jane Watson from Spider-Man. This is part of the Mini Loves of Peter Parker line. It's from uh, Diamond Select and Art Asylum. It's a full-body Mary Jane statue for only $150. $150 seems like a lot, right? Well, this thing was $250 until right now. $150. Bucks. And the thing is, is they are actually moving the statue cases while we're on the sale. The store is closed. And they're packing the statue cases to take over their store, which means that these things are going to go with them when the statue cases go. So really, these things are only on sale uh, kind of until they need them. This is the full body Bowen Designs Electra. She is only $94 right now. Uh, she's normally 156 bucks. You can get her right now for $94. Again, any of these statues, if you're interested in them, let us know in the feed, and I can show them closer to the camera. This is a massive Harley Quinn and Joker double statue. Uh, it's based off the art of Alex Ross. Uh, this same pose with the Joker was used in Suicide Squad, the movie, when they showed Harley in her original Jester's outfit for a split second. This is $151 right now. This was $252 earlier today. Um, very cool. It stands approximately 12 and a half inches high out of the box. I actually put this back in the box myself. There's no damage to this thing whatsoever. It looks fantastic. $151 for this statue. This is the massive Play Arts Kai Hawkman. He was also $100. He is now $60. It's Hawkman, his wings, tons of weaponry, everything else, all imported from Japan. $60 for the Hawkman Play Arts Kai figure. Yep. Peter Parker is a mess. The ladies love it. They want to fix him. But they can't. Because he's just Spider-Man. <laughs> he does love Aunt May and her wheat cakes. Her delicious wheat cakes. Okay. Well... Guess we should sell some things. Speaking of Spider-Man, uh, this is Superior Spider-Man, issue 13, with Superior Spider-Man and the Lizard on the cover. Of course, this is Superior Spider-Man is the time when Dr. Octopus is in control of Peter Parker's body. And it turns out it's some of the best written Spider-Man stories in years. It's fantastic. Uh, Superior Spider-Man, issue 13. It is $4. $4 for that. I'm going to take down um, Robotech for 5 we're going to put up Superior Spider-Man for four.
Mario gets Superior Spider-Man for four. Is that just sent somewhere? There we go. Thank you, Mario. This is Lobo, issue 32. Just shot a Lobo on a motorcycle with a ton of... Uh, it's weird. Just a pile of snails, and they have skulls painted on their shells. He's rode over with his motorcycle. It's $2 for Lobo, issue 32. This is Superior Spider-Man, issue number 15, with, uh, Mercury most does the art in this, which I really like, with the Superior Spider-Man taking on the Hobgoblin, Superior Spider-Man 15 for $4, that's the new Hobgoblin, that is the one that they, uh, made the, uh, build a figure out of from the Spider-Man wave, four bucks for that. This is Saban's Go Go Power Rangers issue number one. This is a variant cover featuring the Red Ranger. It's a um, like a cutout paper doll version, and you can um, put the suit on, the helmet, the sword in his hand, gun, whatever you like. I wouldn't recommend actually cutting up the comic, but hey, do what you want. Go Go Power Rangers number one variant for only five dollars. I'm gonna take down the Batman Beyond Universe for three. We're gonna put that up for five. The real Ghostbuster books? Mm -mm. No, nobody really ever brings those in, man. Now, IDW did some too, but... Uh, but she had a customer come in a month or two ago and just cleaned out, like, everything in the Ghostbusters bins. Um, the guy's kid was really into Ghostbusters. She bought us all out.
This is Ant-Man issue number three from Marvel. This is the variant edition of Ant-Man. That is $4. $4 for this. Oh, yeah. This is Ant-Man issue number three for four dollars. This is the variant cover of Ant-Man. I'm taking the Lobo for two. We'll put up the Ant-Man for four. He came over and, and gave me something to sell. It was pure business. It was pure business. This is The Walking Dead, issue 76. Issue 76 of The Walking Dead. This is $30. Never read Near Mint Condition. 30 bucks for The Walking Dead, issue 76. You may need some early Walking Dead in your collection. That is definitely a way to go. Ant Man for four to Jason. Thank you, Jason. You got that variant Ant Man. This is Prelude to the Deadpool Core, issue number four, for four dollars. There's Headpool on the front. The Mighty Avengers, Mighty Avengers issue number one. The team led by Luke Cage includes a superior Spider-Man, White Tiger. Five bucks for Mighty Avengers number one. I'm going to take down the dial H number one for five, put up Mighty Avengers number one for five. Wally, how's it going, man? This is Snake Eyes, issue number five from IDW. It's part of the Cobra Civil War. And here's Snake Eyes jumping out of a building. He's got a guy captured, shooting a newsie back into the window. $3 for Snake Eyes, number five. Take down the Green Lantern, number four for seven. Put out Snake Eyes there. Mm -mm. No, we don't have any of that stuff, Justin. Yeah, you're going to have a trouble finding them. Um, almost any of those horror comics like that with those guys, they sell quick. Crazy quick. They did a Freddy versus Jason versus Ash at one time. That was a cool one. Uh, they did a number of those. Hmm. 
they are. The benefit is, is that in the vault, once I find it, there is a box almost entirely full of nothing but horror comics. Piles of horror comics. I aim to find them. Speaking of Ash, this is Ash vs. the Army of Darkness, Issue 0. This is the Sneak Peek Variant Edition, which is basically a close-up of a cover from Issue number 1. I'm going to sell this variant right now that I didn't know we had still uh, for $5. $5 for Ash vs. the Army of Darkness, Issue number 0 variant. Take down the Deadpool Core for 4, put up Ash vs. the Army of Darkness for 5. Wally got that one. Thank you, Wally. The new Turok the Dinosaur Hunter comes out tomorrow. Uh, it will have some on the new comic sale. This is the classic Turok the Dinosaur Hunter by Bart Sears. It's got a chromium cover. Uh, and red foil there at the top. Turok the Dinosaur Hunter number one from Valiant um, for $5. This is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, issue number seven. That is $3. $3, a bold new adventure. Three bucks for He-Man. Take down the Mighty Avengers. We've got a He-Man for three. Turok for five. Thank you, Scott. This is Fanboys vs. Zombies, issue number three, for $3. It's from Boom Studios. Feature some guys at a Comic-Con taking on a bunch of zombies. Three bucks for that. Old He-Man, no. No, Wally, we are out. Here's another Chromium Valiant number one comic. This is XO Manowar. That's issue number zero. Issue zero, XO Manowar. Also with art by Bart Sears. Oh, Chromium out. $5 for XO Manowar number zero. Pull down Hawkman for three. Put out XO Manowar number zero.
Yakov gets the X amount of work. This is Rocketeer Cargo of Doom, issue number four from IDW. There's the Rocketeer, and there is a pterodactyl, and there is two dollars on it. You should get it. Did anyone else see that? Typed XO next to each other and it shot hearts all over your screen. Oh yeah, I guess it. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Maybe it's on your phone. Yeah. Yeah, it did. We saw hearts pop up on Tasha's screen. <laughs> That's funny and weird. What? Rocketeer for two to Justin. Look at Justin. How long have you been waiting to use that, Justin? How long did you plan that? <laughs> Rocket emoji situation. This is a cool one, and it's weird, and it's $2. This is Police Academy... The comic book. That's what it says on the front. It's issue number two. Uh, and that's it. It's Police Academy. As in the Police Academy movies and the animated series and the toys. That's what this is. Two dollars for Police Academy issue number two. As weird as that is. <laughs> uh, Scott? That's a pretty wide berth of things that you could be talking about. The Superior Spider-Man? We have a Superior Spider-Man up here if that's what you're talking about. Look at that. Everybody's after Police Academy. Ryan got it. This is a 12 cent Silver Age comic, and yes, it costs two dollars. It's from Charlton Comics, a moving love story of a modern part time swinger. This is I Love You. Two dollars from Charlton Comics, Silver Age. Spider-Man for four. Paul gets the love for two. <laughs> All right, this is Superior Spider-Man issue seventeen. This one features um, Spider-Man twenty ninety nine on the cover and the Superior Spider-Man both. It's four dollars. Superior Spider-Man number 17. This is Double Impact's Butt Shots. That's right. Butt Shot. All that jazz. It says so right on the cover. It is two dollars for butt shots. Hmm. 
<laughs> Michaelis is trying to keep from tapping into the keyboard. Sit at home with an Iron Man poster, reading some butt shots. <laughs> There's some weird boxes back here, Justin. It's an eclectic mix of comics of all kinds. She has a gun between her legs. She's just shooting behind herself. That's obviously the most correct combat efficient way to do that. This is Star Slammers, but not that. It, I mean, I know that it, it's actually some type of space thing. Uh, Star Slammers, number one from Malibu. It is suggested for mature readers. It looks a lot like Warhammer 40K, though. Walter Simonson does the artwork on this. It has a red foil cover. Star Slammers, number one, for two bucks. You pull down the Fanboys for Zombie for three, put Star Slammers out there for two. This is FUBAR. It's a giant-sized 44-page special, number one of two. This shows zombies back in medieval times. You get full of arrows ripping through a castle courtyard. FUBAR, number one, for two bucks. You'll take down the butt shots. Nobody's wanting to claim some butt shots. Uh, I'll just keep saying butt shots. FUBAR, number one, for two dollars. Bar for two to Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. This is Matt. This is Fury, part of the Marvel Max line uh, about Nick Fury. My War Gone By, and right there outlined, of course, that is the Punisher. Fury Max number seven, written by Garth Ennis. That is five dollars. Five dollars for that. Run for to Scott. That is Walking Dead issue seventy six. Issue seventy six. For 30 bucks. First print near mint, never read. $30. This is Superior Spider Man number 16. And there is the hobgoblin with the sword crammed in his chest, just burning up. It is $4 for that issue, Superior Spider Man. He got slapped because she was like, that's my comic. Or she just wanted you to claim it. I'm assuming because she was wanting the comic and she didn't want you to claim it. She wanted all the glory for claiming it. Got any Batman Shadow of the Bat? Yes. How much of it do you want, Joanna? I got a lot. I got a lot. After I put out this, I'll find some Batman Shadow of the Bat. Ooh, that's why it got delayed, because they got it wet, and they were trying to let it dry out. Yep. UPS does that same garbage, man. It's BS. BS. Every time I have a package delayed, it comes in, and it's dry, but it's like the cardboard's all wavy, where they obviously dropped in a puddle or left it out. Superior Spider-Man, number 11. That is $4. I'm going to grab the bat, show the bat over here real quick. Five and thirty-two. 
between 5 and 32. All right. All right. I'll do what I can. This is Batman Shadow of the Bat, issue number six, The Ugly American. That is three whole dollars, three dollars for Batman Shadow of the Bat, number three, or number, I mean, number six, number six, three dollars. Joanna got that one for three dollars. Thank you, Joanna. Let's see what we got. Got that Spider-Man for four. Thank you. This is Batman Shadow of the Bat, issue number seven, The Misfits, by Alan Grant and Tim Sell. It is $3, Batman Shadow of the Bat, number seven. Got that shadow for three. Thank you, Joanna. This is Batman Shadow of the Bat, issue number eight. That is three dollars. Three to Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. This is Wolverine issue 84. Wolverine 84. Adam Kubert cover. That is $3. This is Uncle Scrooge number 288. That's going to be $2. We'll set that right there. This is Batman Shadow of the Bat, The Misfits. This is issue number nine. Issue nine for three bucks. I'm going to take down the Batman Confidential for four. Wolverine for three to Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. for two to Jason. Thank you, Jason. This is Superman issue 688. It's part of the world without Superman storyline from the pre-New 52 DC Universe. It's $4. This is issue 59 of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's Alopex battling a uh, foot soldier ninja. This is Batman Shadow of the Bat, number 10. That is $3. We'll pull down the Snake Eyes for three and put up that Batman Shadow of the Bat for three instead. Joanna gets the Batman for three. Thank you, Joanna. Joanna. 
My bad. We had two. I'm going to assume you want them both until you tell me otherwise. Any Batman over FUD? Nah, David. No, Batman over FUDs. <laughs> no problem. This is Red Lanterns, issue number one from Future's End. This is the lenticular cover. It changes from uh, Guy Gardner as a Blue Lantern to Guy Gardner as the Red Lantern. As you turn it back and forth, it changes. Look at that. Ooh. Six dollars. Red Lantern's number one. Batman Shadow the Bat, issue number 11. The Human Flea. That is three dollars. This is Jack Kirby's Kirby Chrome Captain Glory from Topps Comics. It is polybagged and bagged and boarded. It comes with a card. Captain Glory, number one, Jack Kirby, the cover there. Five dollars for Captain Glory. Take down Fury for five. Put up Captain Glory, number one, for five. Joanna gets the Batman for three. It's He Man. There's Batman. Thank you, Joanna. All right, Joanna, I have 16 more issues of Batman Shadow of the Bat. They run the gamut from 12 to 32. That would be $48 for all those together at $3 a piece. However, if you wanted to just go ahead, I mean, you can you can just buy a few more of these if you'd like. You don't have to buy them all. But if you wanted to buy the rest of these Batman Shadow of the Bat to pretty much complete that big part of your run, I think there's only one or two missing out of here. Um, instead of $48, I would charge you $40, 40 bucks, and you could complete all of these Batman Shadow of the Bat comics. Totally up to you. If you want to put Batman 40 in the comments, hey, we'll sell them to you. Hey, Josh, how's it going, man? How was, uh, how were things? How were things? Kids listening to you today? This is Justice League of America, issue 71 from 1993. Superman is dead. Who will join the new Justice League of America? It is $5 for that issue of Justice League. Batman for 40 to Joanna. There we go. That's what I like. Yep. And that means it is giveaway time. There we go. Easy as that. I'm trying to find something to give away. I'm trying to find something to give you guys something awesome. 
something very cool. You guys have been pretty good today about buying stuff. All right, this is X-Force issue two. This is the second ever appearance of Deadpool. This normally sells for 25 bucks. Guess what? You guys have been pretty cool today. I'm going to give away for free. The camera has been moved. That's no good. <laughs> Way to go. Tosh, what's your supervising over there? All right, what's what's my what's my max number on this one? I'll fix it in a sec. What's the uh, what's my max number on the giveaway? Two oh one is the max number. We're gonna generate the number. Somebody's gonna win the second ever appearance of Deadpool, the first appearance of Kane. Number one ninety seven. Number one ninety seven is the winner. Jason Dugas, you sir have won. $25 comic. It's only going to go up in price with time. That's what you get. You never know what I'm going to give away, and all you got to do is buy stuff every $125. We do another giveaway. Congratulate Jason in the feed. That is an awesome win. I'm going to fix the camera. We got it. There's no big deal. McKaylee's just got all your stuff. You got so much stuff you guys have bought. There's boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff down here. And she's trying to maneuver it all so she can keep putting more stuff in these boxes for you guys. And uh, we got all your dividers in there with your names on them. Pretty awesome stuff. And Jason just won a freaking second appearance of Deadpool. How awesome is that? Here in the close-up window, that is The Walking Dead issue 76. It's first print. That is only 30 Dollars only thirty dollars for issue seventy six. Any Marvel books? Yeah, we've been putting up a lot of them. Uh, what kind of Marvel books are you looking for, Jordan? Yeah, I'll get some Marvel stuff up here for you here pretty soon. Since we're selling a lot of Batman stuff lately. Uh, this is Judge Dredd issue number 10 from IDW. Judge Dredd number 10, that is $3. I'm going to take down Superman for 4 put up Judge Dredd for 3 This is the Rocketeer Hollywood Horror 
It's issue number four. That's also going to be three bucks. That issue of the Rocketeer. Taking the Justice League for five. Rocket's here for three to Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. This is X Men issue seventeen. Comes a soul skinner. There's Colossus with Ileana on his shoulder way back before she became magic. Uh, X-Men 17 for two bucks. Or, well, before she was retconned to be in magic anyway. This is a very fine plus to near mint copy of the Incredible Hulk number 167. 167. Um, 20 cent original cover. You may frighten those those who impering mortals, Hulk, but to Modoc, you're just one more ant to be crushed. Big head Modoc in a body. Destroy cries the monster. Incredible Hulk 167. Could be first Modoc. I don't know, but it's only $12 and you should buy it. Take down the Red Lanterns. I'm going to put out Hulk for 12. Jordan got the Hulk for 12. Thank you, Jordan. This is Deadpool Core issue number seven for $4. Five dollars and ninety-five cents. Five ninety-five. Whether you buy one comic, whether you buy twenty comics, five dollars ninety-five cents flat rate. Um, we put it all together for you. All you got to do to pay is you'll call the store tomorrow uh, after ten a.m. Eastern Standard Time at six zero six eight seven seven fourteen fifty to pay for your items on. Uh, to talk to one of our associates. Pay for it with a credit card over the phone or. You can private message us on this Facebook page with your PayPal email address, and we will message you tomorrow with an invoice. We'll send an invoice to your PayPal tomorrow uh, with the shipping costs and all that jazz added to it. But yeah, five dollars ninety-five cents. Not too bad. This is Action Comics. This is a Whitman reproduced Action Comics, which means it doesn't have the number on it. Um, my eyes burning, can't control my actions. I'll wreck Metropolis. His heat vision's going nuts. He's just blasting through buildings. Uh, it's $5 for this issue of Action Comics, this Whitman version of Action Comics. That'll do it. I'm going to pull down the He-Man for three, put out the action for five.
This is Spider Woman number one. Spider Woman number one, part of Spider Verse. That is six dollars for that. I'm taking the Star Slammers for two. Put a Spider Woman for six. So, what are you guys looking for tonight? Let me know. I'm going to put this up. This is actually a pretty cool comic, and it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, this is $9. It's very fine plus condition. Avengers issue 150. Avengers 150. This is it. The spectacular 150th anniversary special. It's 150 issues, not 150 years. Avengers. Uh, all this plus the usual Marvel mind stunning action, and um, got a big question mark. Got a big question mark with all of them there. So uh, who knows? Who knows what goes on in here? Issue one hundred and fifty. It's nine dollars. Star Wars says Jason. What kind of Star Wars you want, Jason? You looking for current Marvel? You looking for Dark Horse? Are you looking for classic Marvel? Let me know in the feed, and I'll try to get some Star Wars up here for you. Paul got the Avengers. Paul. Classic. Uh, I'm not going to have a lot, but I'll see what I can do. You might have to be happy with one comic, <laughs> but we'll see. We will see. may not know where the store is actually in the process of moving across town so our uh, 5,000 square foot space is getting a little empty in here they're out here actually uh packing up the statue cases right now to move across town all the back issue bins are gone all my back storage books are gone to be they're added already with our vault stuff um so all i've got around me are the comics that are here which i mean still thousands and thousands of comics but you know, there's only so many titles you can fit in those boxes so um, i am limited somewhat compared to what i usually am but I think I've got a little bit of something for everybody. Give me a little patience. I'll get it up here on the board. Also, for those of you guys who must be tuning in for the first time, uh, we do giveaways. We just gave away an X-Force number two for free, second appearance of Deadpool, uh, for nothing. Basically, all you do is buy something. Once you buy something, you are entered to win. Every time you buy something, you are entered to win one more time. Basically, we have a spreadsheet with all the info from you guys buying stuff. They are numbered. We go through the numbers. We use Google Random Number Generator. We do our minimum number and our max number at the time that we hit 125. Boom. The number that comes up wins whatever prize we decide to give out. X-Men for two. Tahinka. And Turtles for three. Thank you, Inka. Speaking of, tomorrow a brand new issue of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hits the shelves. I'll have some up here on the sale. Also... TMNT Dimension X issue number one comes out. It's a new weekly series from the Turtles. The covers connect and make a giant intergalactic wrestling shot of all four Turtles. It looks crazy. I'm excited for it. And uh, I'm going to have some up on the cell tomorrow at noon. So tune in here to noon tomorrow so you can get all your new stuff. Get this thing uh, taped up. I'm going to get this priced out. I'm going to try to find that classic Star Wars. Put some more stuff up. It's going to be a good time parties all around this is the fantastic four issue number 127 it's a little rough here across the bottom but otherwise this thing looks great it looks great you sought the mole man ben Grimm, and you have found him in a world where the sun dares not shine 
The Thing Fights Alone. It is six bucks. Six bucks for this. There is a little bit of damage and wear to it. But hey, for six dollars for issue 127, nah, it's not going to be too bad. All right, I'm going to rebag on board this Star Wars comic. This will probably be the only classic Marvel Star Wars comic that I have for tonight. It just so happens this thing is in very fine plus condition. It looks great. It also happens I'm going to price it cheap because I don't care. Jason got the FF for six. Thank you, Jason. Speaking of six, this is Star Wars Issue 35, issue 35, very fine plus condition. There's Vader playing chess with a bunch of action figures. Hey, whatever excuse you need, it is awesome. It's number 35, 40 cent cover. Darth Vader plays a game of death against the Star Warriors. Star Wars is a horrible name. $6 for that issue from Classic Marvel. Wally got the Star Wars for six. Thank you, Wally. This is Batman in Detective Comics, number 684. That is $3. $3 for that one. Batman for three to Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. This is Sons of Anarchy, issue number 15, for $3. This is Star Wars number 32 from the current Marvel run. This is the 40th anniversary variant cover with the Millennium Falcon flying over most icily with the Stormtroopers looking up, Sand Troopers looking up. Um, variant edition, it is only $4 for Star Wars number 32. Daniel got the Suns for three. Jason was just behind him on that. And Wally gets the Star Wars for four. Normally, this would be the time where I'm like, oh, you guys like Sons of Anarchy? I'm going to go grab a bunch. But I can't because the back issue bins aren't here in the store now. So, sucks. Hopefully, we'll be over there soon. We're waiting on the internet to be put in over there. And then we're going to be transported over pretty quick uh, once that happens. Hopefully in the next day or two, we'll be over there and I'll have access to all those boxes of comics. Um, it'll be insane, the type of stuff I sell to you guys. Uh, the sheer, sheer options we'll have will be, will be amazing. See you in the morning. No, I said to be live here. <laughs> live online on Facebook. <laughs> oh, thanks, Wally, man. We appreciate it. We've been going at it for about uh, seven or eight months now. So I think we've got it lined out pretty well. We might not have the. Uh, most fancy layout, but I don't feel like I don't feel like we need it. We used to do this thing with a phone forever, and it was completely fine. So anything is just a bonus. Like we could do all kinds of stuff. We're like, eh, we don't need to. We sell good stuff. Try to make conversation. 
We got a good team of people working on the sale. I think that's probably the biggest thing that most places aren't going to have is that uh, we have multiple people working on it. And, um, you know, everybody likes doing what they're doing. This is Harley Quinn, issue number two from DC Rebirth. It's $3. This is X-Force, issue number three, Among Us Walks the Juggernaut. That's four bucks. No, Jackie, you can't. Uh, you have to pay the next day. You have to pay the next day. However, um, your next payday is the 11th. On the 10th, that night, you can buy because you don't pay till the next day. But you do have to pay within the 24-hour window, um, and you can't buy on any other sales if you have a previous balance. So it's kind of one of those things. You will have to wait till closer to time to buy. I'm sorry. But, hey, by the time you're ready to buy, we'll be in the new spot. We'll have all the extra new comics. Pretty much anything you request, we'll be able to put up on there for you. It might even work out better for you. And we look forward to having you. But on the meantime, stick around. Talk to us in the feed. Share the feed out. That's all we ask you to do. Share the feed out. That helps us out more than about anything. And uh, feel free to hang out talk about comics with us. Do we have any figures? Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of regular figures right now. A lot of our stuff is packed up already because of the move. A lot of our DC collectibles, things like that. However, I do have some stuff like right now. This is the Arkham Origins Play Arts Kai Joker. Uh, it is $60 rather than 100 bucks. It's on sale right now for 60 bucks. That's 40% off for the Play Arts Kai Joker. I've got that. Also have the Play Arts Kai Hawkman for the same price, 60 bucks. Um, as far as Star Wars figures go, pretty limited. We don't have a lot of black series or anything like that. Uh, we're generally going to have like some older power of the force. We do have some of the Bondi model kits. Uh, of the vehicles, the uh, X-Wing fighter from uh, Force Awakens, the AT-AT, and um, the TIE fighter also from the Force Awakens, the black with the red piping. So. Okay. Uh, that's an X Force, Yakov. That's X Force. Classic or Power of the Force? It'd be Power of the Force stuff. Nothing, nothing from back that far. I mean, we sell stuff so quick, we can't keep it in. Yes, Wiley. Actually, probably for the next, possibly the next two weeks, everything will be the same here as far as New Comic Day. Pulls are here. New comic racks are still up. All the same. Actually, this stuff's already out on there. I'll have the new comic still here. Everything's the same as far as that goes. Uh, I got a few figures here I'm going to show you real quick. I've been allowed to give these for 50% off. So I'm going to show these to you real fast. You guys are going to claim these as quick as you can. Uh, Jim happens to be here. They're moving some shelving. He handed me these. said I could do these for 50 percent off half off of this this is joffrey baratheon the most hated king ever to exist um fiction or not i think uh he does have the cup of wine which you know sealed his fate uh here he is this is the dark horse uh they call them action figures but they're really just like kind of PVC statues. Uh, he will be twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for Jeffrey Baratheon. You can claim that at any time, and you're going to want to because I feel like most people are going to claim these things. I only got one of each of these. This is the DC Comics Commissioner Gordon. This is the Greg Capullo figure edition signature series of Commissioner Gordon. He's got the orange. The his hair is still red. Mustache is red. This is from um, the New Fifty Two version. Uh, he's got a pistol and a uh, walkie-talkie. That is also twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Wally got Joffy for twelve. We've got Commissioner Gordon right now, also for twelve. And another twelve dollar from the Batman animated series 
the Mad Hatter. He comes with his axe. He comes with his control panel for his mind control. He's got his figure stand with the figure turnaround, multiple hands, all that stuff. It is the Mad Hatter. He is going to be $12 for the Mad Hatter. $12 for the Mad Hatter. $12 for Commissioner Gordon. And for fans of the CW Arrow show, this is Deadshot. Or just fans of badass action figures. He's pretty well articulated. That is Deadshot. He comes with a full uh, sniper rifle, a pistol, two pistols, and a sniper rifle. Um, it looks like one of the pistols will go in a holster on his side. Don't look at another holsters on there. Uh, he's also 12 bucks. 12 bucks for Deadshot, Mad Hatter, or Commissioner Gordon. Any of those you can claim for 12 bucks. But uh, that will definitely be a limited time sell. This is Ghostbusters issue number seven. Number seven of Ghostbusters from the IDW series Possession for Ghosts. Um, near mint, never red condition. We're going to sell it right now for $3. Ghostbusters issue seven for three bucks. I'm going to take down the uh, X Force for four, put up Ghostbusters for three. Any Moon Knight. Um, nothing on hand that I'm aware of. If I come across any, though, while I'm digging through some boxes, I'll be sure to pull them out. But I don't really have any specific Moon Knight areas to pull from. But if I see any, I'll put him up. I like Moon Knight. Did you get the new Marvel Legend that came out? It's pretty cool. Except for his tiny crescent moons that, uh, they're only fit between his fingers, so they're just useless. They should just disappear. This is The Flash, issue 11 from DC Rebirth. That is $3. $3 for that. Uh, yeah, Wally, I've got some slabs. Uh, what kind are you looking for? I'm going to pull these down. These guys are $12 a piece. I'm going to take them down right now, but you can claim them, but only during this sale, really. Flash for three to Tom. Uh, where did I put my other one? Thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. Heck yeah, we did, Basil. I've barely been able to get any of this show done without you. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Took a hiatus. Was it just too much? Were you finding yourself being overwhelmed with uh, purchasing? It happens. It happens. I hear you. Glad you're broke. Hey, you can still get on here and hang out. All we ask is that you share the page. We definitely like to have as many eyeballs on here as possible. This is X Men issue number one. X Men number one. There's Storm Beast, Professor X, Jean Grey, and an Archangel on this one. It is $4. $4 for that issue of X-Men. That is the Jim Lee X-Men, the highest selling comic of all time. Single issue in history. That X-Men number one sold more than anything else ever. Still not to be beaten. All right, yeah, I'll put some up here shortly. We don't have a ton of different ones, but I've got a few. I'll be sure to show them off. This is a Dorb's Incredible Hulk. This Dorb's Hulk was bought by somebody, and they did not pay for it. Mmm, that's a negative. We're going to sell this Dorb's Hulk right now for $8. $8 for the Hulk. 
You can claim it at any time. She can set him back here. He's got a $10 price tag on him. especially what we sold him for before. But right now tonight, she needs to move some stuff, man. I just don't want to pack tons of stuff to take over across the street or across the town. Um, so the more we sell, the better. This is a Dorbs Hulk. I'll sell it for $8. Somebody wants to buy it right now. All right, let's show off some CGC and slabbed comet. All right. This is Marvel's Morlocks, number one. This is actually written by Jeff Johns, who's mostly known for his DC stuff. This is a 9.4 Morlocks, number one, from 2002. The first appearance of, like, ten different Morlock mutant characters. Jeff Johns' story, Sean Martinborough cover and art that's $49 for the Morlocks number one 9.4 CGC this is ultimate spider-man issue number three it is a 9.6 issue number three of ultimate spider-man first printing $72 also for 72, Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number two, 9.6, first printing, 72 bucks. CGC. For 125, this is a 9.8, Amazing Spider-Man, number one from 2014. Humberto Ramos cover on this. Very cool, 125 bucks for the Amazing Spider-Man, number one, 9.8. This is Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number four. It's a 9.6. There he is coming in the window there. This is a 7.0 Uncanny X-Men 187. It's 47 bucks. There's Storm being turned into some type of thing. This is a 9.8 Image Comics number one of Pisces. Pisces, image number one. Space Comic, $59 for a 9.8 number one. This is a CGC DC Universe Rebirth number one of Justice League. It is $75 for number one 9.0. This is $145. It is a 9.6 Suicide Squad number one. That, my friends, is an exclusive Dynamic Forces cover featuring Harley and the Joker. And it includes the Certificate of Authenticity. It's 145 We got a 9.8 Ultimate Spider-Man number 5 at 72 bucks. We've got a 4.0 Special Marvel Edition Number 14 from 1973, featuring Sergeant Fury in the desert of Fortress Stands. 4.0, 1973 Sergeant Fury comic. This is Magneto, issue number one, 9.0 uh, from CGC, 69 bucks. That's negotiable. May go down lower than that on that because we have this for 69. This is a 9.0 from Image. This is the Walking Dead Survivor's Guide, number one. It's A through C. 69 bucks. It does have the wraparound cover. This is Uncanny X-Men, uh, number 185, Rogue Public Enemy. It is a um, 9.4. This is in the older CGC uh, covers. It is 59 bucks for that one. For 55, that's Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number 9, 9.8. This is New Suicide Squad, number 1, 9.0 from CBCS. That is only $45. What? Yeah. 
what was on the back of it? A uh, certificate of authenticity. Right? That's what he's talking about. I don't know. This is CGC 9.8 X number one from Black Mask. Black Mask is a comic company made almost exclusively to sell their comics for uh, movie rights. Man, it's making the camera go crazy on the colors. Cameras hate red. $49 for X number one 9.8. This is a signature series. This is a 9.6 Peter Panzerfaust number six uh, CGC signature series from Image. It is signed by Curtis Weeb, the uh, artist on the book. $72 for this early Peter Panzerfaust. This is Archer and Armstrong. Uh, it's number. It's 9.2 Archer and Armstrong number one. This is the brewery variant cover edition. It's 49 bucks for the Valiant Archer and Armstrong. And last but not least, the unexpected issue 217. That is an 8.0. The unexpected from DC Comics from 1981. There's Abraham Lincoln in a spacesuit. This thing is $39. $39 for that. Interested in any of those, you can let us know. But uh, that is what I have available for slabs currently. And there we go. So let's sell some more comics. I'd like to have another giveaway here. We're almost into the 10 o'clock hour. As soon as our last hour, we go till 11. Any carnage? Um, not really. I mean, if I have an issue, I'll put it up, but I don't have anything like, oh, here's a bunch of carnage stuff right now. Uh, like I say, I'm kind of limited on a lot of stuff. But I'll keep an eye out. This is Wolverine, the best there is, number 11, for $3. $3 for that. I'm going to take down the Judge Dredd for 3 put up the Wolverine for 3 Uh, no, we didn't. Yeah, that comic series went huge. But we did get a lot of the first 10 issues. We got a good uh, hookup on some stuff we picked up from a guy. So we got those from him because they're really popular. We've sold a few. Um, they're really great. I mean, it's basically what Spider-Man Homecoming that's like this the stuff. Um, what do you get X-Men for four? This is Deadpool, issue 42. He's taking on Omega Red. That is We've got it. I'm pretty sure we got it over there. Pull for four to Justin. Thanks, Justin. Any dividers for a long box? No. Well, we did, but they are at the other store. Sorry, man. We did have some, though. Oh, Paul, that's Amazing Spider-Man number one from 2014. It's $125. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a uh, 9.8, 9.8 Amazing Spider-Man number one for 125 bucks. However, if you want to buy it right now, I would do it for 115 But that's really as low as I can go on this because we did have to pay a pretty good amount on this one. Um, that's kind of how it is. Like we, we search for slabs that we can get for a certain price so we can flip them for a certain price so we're not charging you guys a lot. This is one that we did have to pay quite a bit more for. So it uh, 125 I could do 115 on it, though, today just because I want to. I kind of want to make some sales today, to be quite honest, because we're moving a lot of stuff, and so it's been – it's been affecting people walk-in traffic, you know. We get people coming in, and we have a lot of sales, but still, you know, there's there's just stuff missing. You know, people can't come look at back issue comics right now, so I'm trying to sell some stuff. So, Amazing Spider-Man, number one, 115, 9.8 if you're interested. That's true. That's true. All right. Uh, yeah, that 115 will go for anybody tonight. Like, yeah, as long as it's on this sale tonight uh, until 11. So you got about an hour and five minutes. 115 on the Amazing Spider-Man number one nine point eight. I'm gonna go look for a couple of book things real quick. Uh, I'll let Tosh pop up here, and um, yeah, that's what we'll do. So flippin' tall, dudes. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm gonna price something and I'm gonna sell it. And it's not gonna be like the last thing, I promise. Alright. Don't make fun of my two. Don't do that. Um, here I got the Holly. Holly. <laughs> you hear me? The Howling Commandos <laughs> of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it's number two, dude. You got these commando dudes and. A light and just like the souls of the damned are surrounding them and that's two bucks see you looked when i said the souls of the damned because it sounded awesome that's why you should buy that right now kiki <laughs> what up gabriel how you doing do i have any more spots open i got one don't i Got Spider Island, Spider Woman, number one. Today only, literally right now only, because I don't know when JP's getting back. It is five dollars. Right there. <laughs> Yakko said, yeah, Kiki, get on it. <laughs> you heard the poof. Hey, don't call me the poof. Thanks, Wally. I like your picture because it's a cute little possum. And he's smiling. He looks adorable. Every time I see him, I'm like, Wally bags. So, yeah. All right. Anyway. Don't mess with the poof or you'll get the tosh. Dude, I'm always the tosh. Don't don't even. I'm always the tosh. It's very rarely I'm the poof. Poof doesn't happen before, like, 1030. I'm watching these guys move stuff, and it's kind of hilarious. Anyway, just so you all know. In case we got any Star Wars fans there, we have the Star Wars tie-dyed shirt. It's the Rebel symbol. And it is a 2XL. Whee! This was actually made by me. I'm very proud of it, so you should buy it. It's and as soon as the store is done moving, I'm going to have an even bigger area to be doing tie-dyed shirts. So I'm, like, really excited to get back on this. I'm also going to be making some new bats. Um, they have a certain quality to them from a certain movie called Suicide Squad. So I hope you guys will be all interested in that as well. Jacob, don't start with me, boy. All right, anyway. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Jacob is actually one of my co-hosts on my show, I Do, at around. So, what are you guys interested in? If you heard some stuff, that was not me. It's uh, really bad. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes, that's what I was looking for, actually. Thank you.
Commandos for two to Yinka. Well, actually, um, just do 15 of them. All right, this is Brian Azzarello's Joker with art by Lee Bermejo. Uh, we sold the um, Batman black and white statue of this Joker uh, just the other day. This is the original graphic novel. It was only ever released like this. This is still sealed up. This is the Joker, and it's awesome and creepy and great. Um, and right now on the sale, it is going to be 17 bucks. Not bad. This is Uncanny Avengers issue number one. It is the variant cover edition, $6. Take down the Spider Island. We're going to put out the Uncanny Avengers for six. No, sorry, man. We are sold out. Sold out of Rick and Morty. If we do have any... Uh, well, we don't, actually. <laughs> I was going to say, if we do have any, it's on the new release wall, which we still got in here in the store, uh, but we don't have any right now, actually. We've completely sold out of everything. He's relentless. It's not like I'm holding them back from you guys. We just don't have any. Like I'm not I'm not hoarding them back here. I would love to sell them to you. Do you want a uh, weaponized Rick Pop vinyl? Because I think we have one more of those in stock. I can sell you one of those. But I think that's it for Rick and Morty stuff. Um uh, Probably that pop vinyl of Rick. This is Amazing Spider-Man 679. It's three dollars. Take on the Ghostbusters for three. Put up Amazing Spider-Man for three. Maybe. Ah, uh, maybes. Hey, it's in for three to Tom. Thank you, Tom. What's up, Jathan? How's it going, man? Just selling some books. This is Uncanny X-Men number 284 for $2. 284 for two bucks. Towards the front area of the, the aisle, I think. X Men for two to Yinka. Thank you, Yinka. We're hiding all the Rick and Morty. We're just we're just pulling the strings of the needle. This is Incredible Hulk, issue 107. It's part of World War Hulk. He's on the front in his gladiator gear battling Hercules. Gary Frank cover there. It is
Uh, yeah, we have a lot of Marvel trade paperbacks. You'd need to be very specific about what you're wanting, and I can go get it for you. But it's one of those things I can't be running over to, through the store and like just grabbing random stuff to see if you're into it. You have to tell me exactly what you're looking for, and we probably have it. We have a lot of Marvel stuff, but I'll be happy to get it for you. This is X-Men issue 34 for $2. There's Gambit, Psylocke, and Beast on the front of that. X-Men 34 for 2 I'm going to pull down the Harley Quinn for 3 Put up the X-Men for 2 This is Rick and Morty, number 172. This is weaponized Rick. He's got a, a rifle in his hand, knee pads on. He's uh, bulked up, ready to go. Weaponized Rick. That's $12 for that pop vinyl. Uh, it's the last Rick and Morty pop vinyl we have in the store, as far as I know. But 12 bucks. So, there you go. Patrick gets the X-Men for two. Thanks, Patrick. This is New X-Men, number 131. That's Emma Frost on the cover, stepping out of a limo. It is only $2, New X-Men 131. Anything Deadpool? Um, cool. Would you bring me that? Those two Deadpool things right there on that top shelf. That Sofubi import figure and that thing underneath it. Yeah. I got a couple things for you, Barry. Let me take them off. Let me explain something. That new X-Men, number 131 for two. Thank you, Patrick. This is Uncanny X-Men, number 298. That's two bucks. Acolytes return. All right, I'm going to show you a couple Deadpool things we got. This is all we got. Uh, this is the Metacom Sofubi Deadpool vinyl import figure. Art figure right here. Deadpool. Uh, this thing is supposedly 90 Dollars, ninety dollars. If you want to buy this thing right now, I will sell it to you for seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars off of ninety bucks. Not a bad deal at all for that. Uh, world's greatest superhero characters retro Sofubi action. This right here. This is the Deadpool three pack. The Mego style from Diamond Select. There's uh, Deadpool there on the back. Uh, these are usually numbered. Yep. This is number 1933 of 3,000. Um, let me add up how much this thing would be. It's normally $80, but I am able to knock off a pretty good amount from it, I believe. Let me see. Dun 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 dun. dun. Calculator. I can sell it for 48 bucks. $48 for this. You get the classic version of Deadpool as he was up here if you got him as a Mego figure in the 70s. Then you've got the white X-Force uniform. You've got the uh, unmasked head. And then you have the more current uniform. And you've got all the extra hands with that hold, that have the trigger fingers, all the stuff that a regular action figure uh, now would have, plus the original, all together. 48 bucks. There you go. There's a couple Deadpool things.
There was no Zatanna that came out, Jay, that we got. We didn't get Zatanna at all. Uh, but I do already have uh, stuff pulled for you. I got your stuff ready. This is the Avengers number 141. Number 141 of the Avengers, 25-cent cover, versus the Squadron Sinister. Enough said. In fact, there's no Zatanna on your list either, so I think you're also aware there's no Zatanna. <laughs> Zatanna statue? Uh-uh. Which Zatanna statue? Is it a DC Collectibles, like women of DC or whatever? I can get it for you. I can get it ordered in for you. Um, yeah, now that we don't. We don't get everything that comes out as far as that stuff goes. Um, but I can get you one ordered in. I'll do it. I'll look and see. I'll look and see which one you're talking about. And I'll uh, I'll see about getting one in the store. Because, I mean, we've sold a lot of statues anyway. So we're going to need some space for some more. I'll see about getting Zatanna. This is the Avengers number 141. It is $6. Take down the Wolverine for three, put up the Avengers for six. Any Batman or Joker statues left? Uh, I've got some Joker stuff. This is the Joker. And Harley Quinn statue. Um, Joker and Harley Quinn, Alex Ross statue. Here they are. Full body statue. Standing side by side, hand in hand. This They did this in the Suicide Squad movie. They showed a quick shot of this. But it was the Joker with the black tuxedo on. Uh, that was the first version of the statue. The second version is him in the purple and green. Uh, it's got a three-tiered base. This thing stands 12 and a half inches tall altogether. Once it is... Uh, Stood up. I put this back in the box. It is perfect. It's got the uh, Harley Quinn stuff at the top. It is normally two hundred and fifty-two dollars. Right now, it is a hundred and fifty-one dollars. Well worth your time. Hundred and fifty-one dollars for this massive DC collectible statue. Crap, man. Can't believe I didn't get his Zatanna statue. I have to look it up now. I figured we'd ordered that. Hmm. How close are we doing to another giveaway? We only need about $15 more to do the next giveaway. The last giveaway, I gave away an X-Force number two, the second ever appearance of Deadpool, the first appearance of Kane. Uh, we've given away a number of giveaways tonight, and uh, i like to do some more. So let's sell some stuff. What are you guys after? Oh, we're at the next giveaway. We actually sold the book over the phone uh, before we are able to put it up on the sale. So, hey, there you go. We're at the next giveaway time. What am I going to give away? Yes, Tom, it is. Double check that this is the one you were wanting. This is the Jim Lee full body statue for 60. If you'd like it, put Harley for 60 in the feed and we'll get it for you.
This is a hardcover of X-Force. This collects X-Force 12 through 13, 17 through 20, Annual Number 1, and X-Force Sex and Violence 1 through 3. It is a hardcover edition. It's still sealed. We're going to give this away for free right now. Really awesome cover by Clayton Crane on the front with Archangel, Warpath, Domino, Wolverine, and X-23. If you're a fan of awesome comics, you're going to be a fan of this. X-Force, graphic novel, free of charge. What's my new maximum number? 223. Generate the number. 199. Number 199, you are the winner. Whoever that may be. Joanna Lee Gay, you have won the X-Force hardcover graphic novel. Everybody congratulate Joanna in the feed. Harley for 60 went to Tom. Thank you, Tom. And what was it? X-Men for two to Yinka. This is the new Batman Adventures version of Batman. It's super articulated. It comes with multiple hands, two different capes, one that goes down over his shoulders and one back, depending on how you want to pose him. Uh, he's got the figure stand. He's got all kinds of weaponry, all kinds of stuff. He's on sale right now for only $12. $12 for the Batman animated action figure. You can claim that any time during the sale. How much for bats? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. I'm not seeing any of whatever you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotcha. Hey, I opened it and took it out of the box, and it is awesome because I have the Batmobile, the full Batmobile. Twelve dollars. I told him to go ahead and type it in too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I actually, uh, the last store I worked at, when those Batmobiles came out from that figure line, uh, this couple came in to buy one, and I was talking about how cool it was. They bought two of them. Then they gave me one. I got a $150 car. It's freaking awesome. So now my son just runs it around the house with the lights on. Uh, yep, so that Batman is $12. I also have a Mad Hatter figure for $12 as well, if you want to get a little collection going. Ah, oh, man, it's too big. Plus, the Batmobile, not so good at taking turns. Not so good at taking turns at all. <laughs> Pretty much straightforward rocket. Usually, it's uh, it's the Batmobile and Battle Cat, um, you know, running over people. Mad Hatter? Yeah, Deanna. I've got an animated Mad Hatter figure for $12. It's the Batman animated series, Jarvis Tech, Mad Hatter. He's got the axe. He's got his control box. He's got a figure stand, all the stuff. For 12, Yinka gets the Batman. Thank you, Yinka. And this is the Mad Hatter. He is $12. These action figure prices are literally just for this sale tomorrow. Even if they're still up here, they will not be that price. $12 for the Mad Hatter. And then we've got $12 for the Greg Capullo style Commissioner Gordon and $12 for the Arrow TV version of Deadshot. $12 for any of those figures. What's up, Nyat? How you doing, man? Oh. Uh, I got a toy I could do for less than 12 for Marvel. This is the Vulture. 
the comic version of the Vulture. It is the uh, three and three quarter sized Vulture figure from the comics. Uh, I can sell you him right now for seven dollars. Seven dollars for the Vulture, still in the package. Yinka got the Mad Hatter for 12 Thank you, Yinka. Sadly, that was all the Batman and Mysterious stuff we have in the store. The rest of it is already packed up and across town. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, flash, 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 flash. Uh, sorry, man. I don't think I've got anything that comes to mind right now, flash-wise. We have a lot of our stuff. Well, our DC figures are almost all across town right now, so there's just not a lot available here in the store. Um, we got some Marvel Select Ghostbusters. Can't really mark them down a whole lot, though. And we got a bunch of Marvel Select figures. we got Marvel Select figures, but I can't, eh, I can only go so cheap on those. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I hate telling you guys no all the time or like I don't have stuff. It's just kind of the state of things right now in the store. We just where we're moving things over. It's cutting into uh being able to run and just grab stuff for you guys, which is normally the case. As you for you guys that have been on for a while, that is usually what we do. And sadly, it's just I don't know. There's not a lot right now we can do about that. Yeah, yeah, we were actually, we'll actually be doing the Facebook Live over there before the store is even open over there. We're just waiting on them to get all our internet stuff wired up and ready so that we don't have any, we don't want any intermittent problems. We want to, like, do a sale here one day and the next day be there going on the sale. So we've got to prep the room and do the sale and get everything ready. Um, yeah, yeah, no, we're going to be doing it. It's going to be great. Like, right now, we're in the store. You can kind of see us if you walk in the store where we're going to be in the new store. We're all the way in our own separate studio area. Nobody to bother us. No noise. None of that. We'll be doing our own stuff. It's going to be great. Right next to the Vault of Comics, where we'll be grabbing out of there every day to get stuff ready for you. Yeah, yeah. We already have quite a bit of stuff going on right now with our internet. Like, uh, we pay a lot. <laughs> but, uh, um... The thing is, is like here, the coax, the coaxial, or they can't run a coaxial cable, or not a coaxial, a uh, opt fiber optic cable. And the cable they have runs really far out through the building, which is way longer of a distance than that cable is supposed to run. So it's kind of a weak connection, and we're running really heavy power through it. So this new building, man, we should, we should be just on it, on it, on it. Well, I think we're going to actually run possibly two separate two separate uh, internet services. One for just the cell in the back, and then one for the rest of the store. Because we do use the internet like for our POS system and all that stuff, so we do need it pretty heavily. But it should be awesome. It should be awesome. That's the only thing is like during the transition time, it... It affects us somewhat just in the amount of stuff I'm able to grab for you. Um, but, like, right now, our graphic novels are all here. Um, our Game of Thrones stuff is here. Star Wars. The manga. Uh, not manga. Manga's all gone already. But, like, the anime type stuff. The Pokemon plush. Things like that are here. Marvel Selects. Um, the Warhammer stuff is here. Um... The Deadpool end cap, the Disney end cap. Um, I don't know. We still got some stuff. We got some role playing stuff. We got a lot of board games still. Um, so if there's stuff you're after, like we can probably still hook you up for the most part. Oh, the new store is down. Going to be downtown, two hundred five North Hill Street. Uh, it's going to be next to. Um, it's called the. What's the name of that flower shop? The Carousel Flower Shop in uh, downtown London. It's right off of Main Street. Um, 
we're in the same kind of block of buildings that has merit tattoos and stuff like that in it. Uh, just like a block down from the uh, courthouse. Pretty easy to get to. Very easy to get to. We're on the same road as the uh, the elementary school there. It is, Deanna. That is, um, how much is the dragon? Like, it's, yep. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks gets you the dragon. You can buy a. Uh, You can buy Lemon Juice McDragon for $1,000. That's his name. When it got voted on, that's the only one that actually had tally marks for it. And we're here. And he had four of them. So he's pretty much that's the name. That's the best. That's Kristen. <laughs> I don't think Marcus knows or cares. I wouldn't ask him, any, I wouldn't ask him anything for the next uh, two months. <laughs> yep, Tasha hates it because she hates me and she hates that I'm a winner. Uh it's Lemon Juice McDragon is the name of the dragon. I don't think it should be named anything. I should be named sold, and we should sell it for thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll be willing. I'll be willing for him to be mad. I'll be like, oh, you're mad that I make you thousand dollars. <laughs> this is X Men Blue issue number six for four dollars. This new issue, X Men Blue. I can't, Deanna. I hear you, Jacob. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, we can't move the cameras around like that. These are some pictures of it on our Facebook page somewhere. We had a big contest, I think. It is pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. I do like it. Sort of. Yeah, no, I told him. I told him he was right. That's correct. <laughs> trying to make excuses about how she revives you all the time and how she doesn't truly hate you. It's just all in your head. But trust me, she does. She tells me. I don't even know you, but I've heard how much she doesn't like you on a regular basis. All right, it's getting late. <laughs> yep, 10.25. We're almost into our last half hour of the sell. We need to sell some stuff. We need to sell some stuff. I'm trying to think of anything that you guys might want to pick up here. Taking a look. Taking a look. Yeah, we got the Marvel Selects. We can't really mark them down a whole lot. But we do have some Marvel Selects. We've got everybody. The Destroyer one is, I think, is really awesome. It's got the Odin head. You can attach onto it. Any more older books? Yeah, definitely. Deanna wants more Batman. I can put some more Batman up. So I feel like we're pretty, we're not super close to our next giveaway, but we're, uh, we're definitely in striking distance of it. So we, I think we can do a giveaway pretty quick. Yeah, we're only like 30 bucks away from the next giveaway. We well, can do that in no time, right? Start it right now. This is Superman number 312. Surrender to me, Superman, or your cousin has had it. It's $5 for Superman number 312. I'm going to take down the X-Men blue for four and put that out for five.
Uh, Jackie, we use uh, Google Random Number Generator. We uh, we take the first person who has bought something on this cell and the last person, and we pick the number beside of those names. That's our start number and our end number. I hit the random number generator. Whatever number pops up, we go down the list. The name beside of that number gets it. All you have to do to win is buy something. The more you buy it, the more times your name is in the spreadsheet, the more chances that that random number is going to be beside your name. Easy as that. This is Batman, The New Adventures, issue number 416 for $6. And there's Nightwing coming down to help, uh, I guess, yeah, Jason Todd. He's coming down to help Jason Todd. Uh, $6 for Batman 416 from 1988. We'll pull down the, well, just going to sit out. Take down the uh, Uncanny Avengers. We're going to put out Batman. 416 for six. You what? No, 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 no. What did you say? Okay. I thought you said beat. Back of this comic has Evil Knievel on it. I like that. This is Fantastic Four, number 166. It's got a little bit of a rolled spine on it, though. So I'm going to mark it low. We're going to sell Fantastic Four, issue 166, for $5. It's the Hulk. He smashed our ship. Yeah, well, wait till we see what to do to him. There we go. Five bucks for Fantastic Four, number 166. I'm going to take down the uh, Captain Glory, put out Fantastic Four. This uh, has Moon Knight in it, but it is not a Moon Knight book. This is the West Coast Avengers. West Coast Avengers, issue 39. So, Avengers, you thought you'd buried me for good, but you were wrong. Dead wrong. Swordsman. Uh, coming back from the dead. Crazy stuff. It's from 1988. It's going to be four bucks. West Coast Avengers issue 39 for four dollars. I'm going to pull down the Hulk for four, put up West Coast Avengers for four. Which Walking Dead is that? That's issue 76. Issue 76 of The Walking Dead for uh, 30 dollars. I wouldn't be too happy either, Jordan. I'm sure she has almost anything else to watch besides this uh, at her house. FF for five to Jason. Mine is there. Jason got that FF for five. Thank you, sir. But we appreciate your commitment. Batman for six to Ryan. Thank you. Whoa, that's the wrong one. There we go. Thank you, Ryan. 
I do have some more early Batman luck that I'm going to be putting up. This is Fantastic Four, number 160. Uh, it's got quite a bit of spine wear. Not really quite a bit. Actually, it's not too bad. Uh, it's got a little bit of wear over across the top and over to the side. There it is, Fantastic Four, issue 160. Archon the Annihilator showed up, and the thing is going to fight him with, uh, you know, that light post. It is $5, Fantastic Four, 160. Here for five, this is Batman, issue 415. It's part of a Millennium Week, and there's Batman and Robin uh, sucked into some type of vortex. Maybe they're on an acid trip. It's really tough to say. Hey, James. Going pretty good, man. Going pretty good. Moving right along. Building up to another giveaway, which is always good. Of course, we will, uh, we got, you know, about 25 more minutes on this cell, but we'll be back tomorrow, actually tomorrow morning at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Kristen and I will be live right here on Facebook talking to you guys about comics, movies, TV, action figures, whatever you want to talk about. We're open to you guys commenting and talking and just chatting it up for about half an hour before the store opens on New Comic Day. Then at noon, we'll be back here for the New Comic Day cell where we sell nothing but all the new stuff that comes out. Um, collectibles, comics, what have you. Uh, variants, lots of stuff. Uh, is available only on the Facebook Live Supercell at noon. And then at 3 to 11, of course, the regular sale kicks off once again. What Avengers is that? Okay. Fantastic Four to Jason. For five. Ryan gets the Batman for five. And um, what Avengers is that? Back for Avengers number 141 for six dollars. Oh, yeah, and there's a West Coast Avengers. What Bishojo is that? Josh, that is the hard to get. Poison Ivy. We've got it for only $199. You check that out online anywhere. It's going to be quite a bit more than that. Very nice box on this thing. Poison Ivy right here ready for you. $199. It's not showing up on yours, but he bought two Fantastic Fours back to back. Yeah. I mean, the comments. Uh, is it not coming up on your thing? Oh, yeah. This is issue 421 of Batman. That chick's leaking mascara like crazy, and there's Batman coming up on her. Batman, 421 for $5. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, Kotobukiya Bishoju statue. Um, that's the one. Uh, most of the guys are the same thing, the guy that I forgot, that I talked about. They're all lagged up. I do have a number of statues down here for 40% off, including the uh, DC Bombshells Joker and Harley, the regular Joker and Harley from Alex Ross, um, an Electra for $94, uh, Bowen Designs full body. I have the Hawkman Play Arts Kai figure for $60. i have got the Joker Play Arts Kai figure for $60. Uh, we've got a Tomb Raider full body fig statue for $60. we have got the Mary Jane statue for $150. We've got a Lady Deadpool Bishoujo statue for only $42. And we've got a um, Sinestro core bust of Sinestro coming out of his power battery for $42. Um, all kinds of stuff on sale. This is Fantastic Four number 137. 
Where walks Warhead? That is $5. $5 that FF. This is X-Men issue 79 for $2. I'm taking on the Joker hardcover original graphic novel for 17. Put out X-Men 79 for 2 bucks. Legacy of the Morlocks. Fantastic for 5 to Jason. Thank you. Patrick gets that one. Thank you, Patrick. Man, I don't see why you wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I did. I thought him. This is the Defenders, issue 39. Issue 39 of the Defenders. Actually, it's not necessarily in alphabetical order. I don't know where you're going with these things, really, if I want to take it. <laughs> this is the Defenders, 39. It's a 30-cent cover. Back, my fellow Defenders. Clea must not be stopped. That is $5, the Defenders, 39. So I want to divvy up the responsibilities here. I can make a list. That is weird. Did you get um, when Ryan was asking for that Batman that time? The sculpt time? Huh. Uh oh. Is Jake Collins on here? I mean, I bet he's not. No reception. I was just looking up who did it. No, no, I was thinking. I guess not. This is Justice League of America number 194. And uh, that is death is in the cards. Anyway, the hand is dealt, they lose. And there they are, surrounded by tarot cards that are coming to life. And there's Zatanna, the newest member of the Justice League on the front. Justice League of America, 194 for five dollars. Oh no, no, we're good on his FFs. Like we, we got the right things. It's just the comments are coming up on mine, and some of them aren't coming up on Tosh's, and we're trying to figure out. He's trying to reset it and get it to work where everybody's comments are coming in. Just for some reason, the last couple FFs that he claimed didn't pop up on hers, but they were on mine. So we're just trying to get it fixed. The late 90s one, like um, that the Heroes Reborn, Heroes Reborn FF with Jim Lee. Man, uh, little to none, I think, on as far as stuff that you're probably needing. Um, like I said, I mean, I can't even, you know, I don't really have access. Um, I'm going to look and see. What is it? 
what, what are we, what's JLA for five? Jason got the JLA for five. Thank you, Jason. This is an Amazing Spider-Man issue 292. Amazing Spider-Man 292. It's from 1987. Hiding in Pittsburgh won't save you from Alistair Spice Spider Slayer. Which is funny because his face is in there and he's looks like a weirdo with curly red hair. I love it. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 292. We're going to sell that for $6. One of my few Amazing Spider-Man. We're five dollars away from the next giveaway. Somebody needs to buy one of those. Every hundred twenty-five dollars giveaway out of the people who have bought stuff. The more things you buy, the more names you're on the list. And for six to Josh, it is giveaway time. <laughs> All right. What's my new max number? 235. So we're between 152 to 235. Google random number generator. Who we got as a winner? Ooh, I'm going to say that number in just a second so I find out what I'm going to give you. Uh, I want to make it seem like I'm catering to someone specifically. Um, well, let's say here we give away. Um, all right. The death of Wolverine number one. This is a foil issue one. $20 comic every day of the week. Boom, right here. Free of charge. To number 175. Number 175 is the winner. 175. Yakov has won Death of Wolverine, number one, foil edition, $20 comic, for simply just randomly buying things. Yakov, you are a winner, sir. Everybody congratulate him in the feed. And, you know, I mean, we're down to about 15 minutes left. But let me just tell you, there's still time for another giveaway. All someone has to do is buy a couple of statues. Boom, another giveaway right away. Easy as that. Easy as that. You're only... Nope. You're only as limited to the number of giveaways as you are to the things you're willing to purchase. It's all up to you. All the power is in your hands. This is realistically the one thing in your life you can truly control. You should take advantage of it. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 203. And it's kind of in crappy shape. I thought it was better. And then I went to bag and board it, and I realized it was not. Um, it's got a kind of a tear in the A on Amazing. Uh, it's number 203. It's got Dazzler in it. It's got a bend on the cover. It's, I mean, it's not bad, but I'm going to sell it for $2. So, Amazing Spider-Man, 203 for 2 bucks. Don't expect miracles here. But, hey, it's worth $2 for sure. <laughs> we can only have a giveaway if we sell $125 worth of stuff. I'll gladly. I'll gladly give the Butt Shots comic away. We gotta sell 125, well, 123 more dollars of stuff. Oh, we can't sell butt shots. We've got most of the bad girl. Yeah, it's a bad, it's a bad butt shots. Oh, it's bad girl. Yes, it is. It's definitely some '90s bad girl action. Yeah, it's really it's right up your alley, Jim. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, Jim's gonna get on the feed and buy this, and you didn't. I guess you were driving. Can't blame you there. Safety first. That's right. Yeah, take it easy. Well, the Joker and Harley's only a hundred and fifty-one dollars. Only a hundred and fifty-one. You can definitely afford it. <laughs> I gotta find it now. Let's 
great is that I sold a butt shop comic to Jennifer. It's the greatest. I'm going to say that loud and proud on the stream here if I can find it. By holding up the cover. I, I, Somebody bought it. I'm looking for it. There it is. Here we go. No matter what she says in the comments, truly, truly, her eyes just cannot escape this butt shots comic that has now been sold to Jennifer Matchett for $2. For $2 sold to Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, when this comes to your house, hopefully this will this will come nice and uh, uncreased for you so you can keep it in your collection. You can frame it and have it ready at all times. $2 for butt shots to Jennifer Matchett, who bought butt shots for $2. Spider-Man rubber thing for 14 is good. Oh, the bank? Yeah, Jordan gets the bank for 14. I forgot about that. Uh, I got two different sets up here. Um, this set is the 11th Doctor. Um, mm, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. That one doesn't say. I'm sure that one won't either. It just tells the BBC info, but it doesn't tell the actual date of the toys. Take it easy. Have a good one, man. You can be here tomorrow. What time? Nine. Nine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> at nine thirty, yeah. Yeah, we're live at nine thirty. Oh, that last comic, it was Butt Shots, and it was bought by Jennifer Matchett, Josh knew. Butt Shots, B-U-T-T-S-H-O-T-S. -T -T uh, you can look it up online. If you look it up right now, it'll be next to Jennifer Matchett's name um, because we put a post on it for the Facebook page. <laughs> This is DC Universe. This is the Flash issue 22 from DC Rebirth. This is the international cover, I guess, with uh, the Jay Garrick slash reverse Flash situation here. It is $5 for this. Very cool cover. We actually found that earlier today when moving some stuff. Check the printing number on this Batman here. Uh, yeah, Jordan, I have Deadpool, Daredevil, Doctor Doom, Spider Gwen, Batman, Green Lantern, um, Uh, oh, yeah, Ultron, um, Ant-Man, and Iron Man. So we got a few. We got a few. Any of those banks that you guys might like, they're all 14 bucks tonight. This is third printing. Third printing on this one. Doom for Jordan for 14 Sight unseen. I like it.
There you go, Jordan. This is Doom. Fourteen dollars. It is yours. Ready for you to shove. Ready for you to shove nip nickels between his uh, shoulder blades, <laughs> or nipples. Either way, I mean, we're not going to judge what you do with Doom on your own time, as long as you're both consenting adults. I do not know. Probably a lot. She's going to check. She's going to check. Um, a little less than a hundred bucks, almost a hundred bucks left. Ninety-two. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. Uh, it, it's a pretty attractive bust of old Doctor Doom there. Yes, that your slab would probably take care of it. Gets us both. Well, a statue might not. We got some pretty cheap statues. That would help get it closer. Simpson Spider Pig? Uh, no. That'd be awesome. Look at that. Um, Actually, we might have a Monty Python pop or two. Tasha's going to go look right now. I'm just surprised. Is it like the Black Knight, the one that gets his arms cut off? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Got like the curled mustache or whatever. We're checking, Wally. We actually have a Monty Python pop about you from the Holy Grail. We're checking it out. All right, take it easy, Justin. Have a good one, man. No, no black cat right now. I mean, I'm not saying we don't have it. Just don't have any here right now. Oh, did you find it? Cool. Oh wow, that's nice, Jordan. What was the uh, what was the best one out of the lot? This is the French Taunter from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. There he is. Uh, Twelve bucks, and he's yours. Twelve bucks for the French Taunter. It's a dollar less than we sell him for in the store. Some for thirteen normally. Twelve dollars for this French Taunter pop vinyl. If you like it. Nice. San Diego Comic Con Loki for ten eighty. Wow. Got that one. It's what? Yep, it's 1057. We have three minutes. So, realistically, and somebody's like, hey, man, give me that awesome Joker and Harley statue for $151. Or give me that Electra for $94. Um, or give me that Mary Jane Watson statue for $150. Probably going to have another giveaway. <laughs> I feel like it all rests on the shoulders of Mary Jane Watson's statue. And the man who obviously wants to own it, but just hasn't pulled the trigger. You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> um, eight bucks. Does that sound okay for you, Jason? Eight dollars? Oh, 
I was hoping it was the first. I always hope it's the first. But it never is. Never is. We get them in actually fairly often. Never first print. Uh, that is Flash number 22. Flash 22. Part of the button storyline. Actually, the final part of the button storyline. Hey, I wasn't naming names. It's 10.58. We're down to two minutes left. Oh, one minute. One minute. Yeah. Um. One ten, one ten, slow as I can go, and that's if you buy it right now, like literally, right now, because it's now eleven o'clock. So, if you put ASM for one ten right now, we will do a giveaway, and we'll clock that in. But it's up to you on that. You think Jim left his phone here? Holy cow. He he is extremely forgetful. Yeah. Wally got that for 110. Thank you, Wally. You got ASM number one. And that means it's time for a giveaway. These are three Justice League of America graphic novels. You're going to win all three of these for free. For free. Right now, I'm going to put the tag on them. You get all three of them for free. I'm going to put them into one bag and tape them up. Hey, we appreciate it, Wally. You're not just helping the room. You are helping us. The more we sell, well, the more we get to do this. So it works out. All right. These three graphic novels are going to be free. What's my new max number? Two forty-two. Here we go. Number two hundred and twenty-five. Two twenty-five is the winner. Tom Basing. Tom, you have won three. Justice League of America graphic novels. Congratulations, Tom. Everybody congratulate him in the feed. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, we will be back here tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, to talk comics and stuff with you, me and Kristen. Then we'll be back at noon for the new Comic Day sale. Then... From 3 to 11, from 3 to 11, uh, right here for the Facebook Live Supercell once again. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Thanks for buying all kinds of stuff. We appreciate it. We will see you tomorrow for a big day of live streams and selling comics and talking about comics and all that stuff. So uh, thanks again.